A picture for the medical history books. Heart transplant patients spanning more than two decades stand side by side, all returning to Children's Hospital LA to mark the transplant program's 25th year. I know all of my transplant patients when they're little, and then you all grow up and get big on me, and now I have a hard time recognizing everybody. Many of these young patients had transplants in the last year. Others in the crowd received donor hearts more than two decades ago. This feels like coming home. In the summer of 1995, 33-year-old Melanie Wickersheim was one of the first. A transplant isn't only a surgery. It's a uniquely transformative way of life, and our transplant teams are there for us every step of the way. Michael Young received a new heart shortly afterwards. Eyewitness News covered his surgery since he was one of the first to be helped with a left ventricle assist device, new technology at the time. I never thought I'd be 22 years out. It's amazing. Meeting patients like Young is inspiring 15-year-old Zakari Payne. We first met him last summer after he received a new heart and kidney. It fills his family with hope to see patients doing so well. I'm going to just live life, play basketball again probably. The medical director of the heart transplant program says each of the patients have been through so much at the hospital, they all feel like family. I just want to rejoice in the successes of those recipients that are with us here today. And there are so many of you. It's unbelievable. I want to also acknowledge the unending gift that came from each of those donors that made this program possible. Patients are here to reflect, rejoice, and rededicate their lives, but they're also here to remember the donor families who gave them a second chance. In Hollywood, Denise Tador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.